AF1000, 33 element detectors, the first of its kind and the most recent in the world to detect gemstones and metals, the most unique design case which consists of the main control unit of the device. The grip allows us to carry the main unit through it. Reinforcement unit equipped with a built-in transmitter that works in two systems. Sound unit works to receive the sound alert system from the main unit wirelessly and connects it to the headphone. Headphones connect via the headphone jack located on the top of the audio unit. Transceiver antennas and the signal support antennas. USB charger to charge the battery of the device. Three years warranty card and the user manual DVD. Installation method. We are going to assemble the device parts and accessories one by one, as you'll see. Initially, we are fixing the handle grip. Then the antennas. Every antenna with its compatible jack in the main unit. Then we're going to equip the sound system. So we have to check the batteries of the sound unit. And to connect the headphones with sound unit, if we want to work with headphones feature. Also, we have to enable the headphones feature as you're going to see it in this video. This way, the device is assembled, but to start searching, first, we have to explain how to work with the interfaces of the main unit of the devices in this video, so stay with us until the end. Now we are going to explain how to work with interfaces of main unit of the device. We have the display area in the keypad of the main unit, which consists of navigation keys, moving arrows, OK and back key. We've got the power key to turn on the unit. Here we have two shortcuts to control the brightness and the volume. In the beginning, we will turn on the device by long press for two seconds at the power key. And then the operating system or the device which is powered by rear clow will upload. After uploading the operating system, the main interface will appear, which contains the long ranges icon and the settings icon. First, we will explain how to set up the settings by choosing the settings icon. Here we could increase or decrease the brightness of the display. Second, to control the sound settings. We could enable or disable headphone feature, vibration feature, the sound of the keys, and to of course control the volume of the device. Third, we have the language setting to select the proper language among English, French, Arabic, and Spanish. Here, we could set up the time. And here we could enable the Bluetooth feature. Here we could set password, enable or disable the password, or even change it to password. 
Here we could do factory reset. We have to be careful that all data will be lost if we press OK. Finally, here we could find all the information about the model software belt number and the serial number of the device. And for further information, you could visit the website quickly by using the QR code to surf the website. Searching Interfaces After returning back to the main interface and select the long range icon, the next step is to set up the parameters of the searching, which contain distance that we could set it until 2500 meters. We should choose between the target, between 33 choices of different rare and precious metals and gemstones. Then we should set the depth and depth until 200 meters. We should note that to set and to move between parameters of searching, we are using the arrows keys. After that, we could go for start search and select it. Two options will appear, ground transmitter and filter in the screen. We should select one of the two options and make sure that the Bluetooth system is activated from the Bluetooth configuration option. Or you can activate it directly here in this window. First, we have to turn on the reinforcement unit by longer pressing the power key after we put on the battery. The ground transmitter system offers a ground wave search system supported by the fine-tuned transmission and enhancement system. We are going continue searching by selecting ground transmitter. Here's appear the searching screen contains the parameters which have already been selected. And the direction compass tell us the directions and help us to locate accurately the pass of the target as well as the laser light icon will appear which helps to easily identify the target point and the draining point accurately in various circumstances day and night. Connect the sound unit to do it. We first have to turn on the sound unit to make sure of the headphone feature is enabled. We could volume up the sound using the sound unit switch. Long range system, calibration process, by swinging the main unit by its handle grip, where we move the device by hand to the right, then left slowly, and then the hand that holds the device is a steady, start detection. After calibration process, we have to move with a steady steps in a direction to start detection. Any possible target will still moving until device is turning left or right in this point. We find the target pass. We should try another direction to make sure that the target in the same direction. We repeat this again. To make sure now the direction of the target is confirmed. Now we have to track the target point by pressing the tracking key and moving toward the target path that we've located before. If we deviate from the target path, the tracking feature will give us sound and visual alarming. We keep walking in this direction unit. The device turns back. We go back and move in same direction. At this step, we locate the target. We go back and move in the same direction unit. The device turns back again. At this step, we locate the target. Another way for us to accurately determine where the target is located. We draw a virtual square around the target point, a square 3 meters from the target site. We will notice the intersection point of the four readings.
To check the quality of the target, choose the filter option from the ground reinforcement unit, also from the search screen. Then bring the ground reinforcement unit. Also, bring the device and place it in middle between the point of expected target and the reinforcement unit. And place it 10 meters from the expected target. If the device turns towards the target, so the target is 100% real, else the target is unreal and it's just agglomerated metals. Depth Determination To determine depth of target, first we select the target point as a starting point. Then we move forward at medium speed. We keep walking until the device turns backwards to the target point. The depth value is distance between the point of the target and the point that the device turns back as you could see in the illustration. In the end, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube.